we'll guide you through how to download and install texture or resource packs on Minecraft on a Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, go and open up a web browser. And I just want to give a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome benefits like DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support. So you can get help anytime you need it. There's instant setup, one click install mod packs, and so much more. There'll be a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment, and you can get 25% off your first invoice right now as well. So you need to go and download the resource or texture pack which you want. So if there's a specific one you want, then you can go and search for it. However, if you're not sure what you want yet and you want to go and browse through, a website I like to use is called CurseForge. We'll go and search for it, and then we'll go to curseforge.com. Then select Minecraft and you want to go and scroll down until you go and see resource packs and we can go and click on view all. Now you can browse through here until you see a resource pack you'd like the look of. In this case, I want to go for this realistic texture pack. So we'll go and click on it. Once you've selected it, then head over to the right and go and click on files. Scroll down and just go over to the right to game version. And what you want to do is just go and see which version it's available for, because then you'll need to run Minecraft in that version. So I'm using 1.20.4 at the moment, which is fine. This pack can run on that. So I'm going to download this. So I'll go over to the right and click on the three dots and I'll then click on download file and it's now downloading. In Safari, you can go to the top right and we can see it here. And also you can open up your finder and go to your downloads and see it there as well. Now what I'm going to do is just go and put the pack onto my desktop, just like so. And then what we can do is go and close off of Safari, just like this. And then what you want to do is go and open up Minecraft. So I'll just go and click it in my um, dock at the bottom, but you can always go and search for it and launch it. If your resource or texture pack is for an older version of Minecraft, then what you'll need to do is go to the top, click on installations and click on new installation and go to version and then go and choose the version you got the pack for. For example, if you got it for 1.20.3, select it. You can then go make a name, hit create, and then you can go back to play in the top left and you can then select it here and run it at 1.20.3. However, mine works 1.20.4, so that's fine. We can go and launch it. After Minecraft is loaded, go and click on options and then click on resource packs and click on open pack folder. And then what we need to do is go and put the pack in here. So that's why I just put it on my desktop. It's super easy to then move it in. So click on it and drag it in just like so. And then you can go and close off of it. Now, as you can see, it then goes and appears just there. And then what I can do is go and apply it right now, or I can apply it while I'm in the game, it doesn't matter. To apply it, you just hover over it and click on the arrow, and it's now added there. You can press done, and it will then go and reload, and it will go and have the updated look. Nothing's really changed here because the pack doesn't change that, I guess. But go and click on single player and we'll get into a world and I'll show you what it looks like. And so here we are. And so this is like a realistic texture pack. So as you can see, all the grass and stuff just looks way more detailed and the leaves as well. And yeah, it looks really cool. And as I said before, you can actually go and enable and change the texture pack while you're in a game. To go and do that, you just press escape click on options and then go and click on resource packs. And what you want to do is make sure the texture pack you want to use is on top of this list here. For example, if I put default above it, then default would be used before the texture pack. So that's it. But then if you want to go and turn the pack off, just click on the arrow on the sort of the icon, press done. Minecraft will quickly reload and I'll unpause the game and it'll be back to normal. So yeah, super simple guys. There are so many different resource or texture packs out there as well, and they completely change the feel of Minecraft. For example, you could go and get a medieval one, or you could go and get a futuristic one. So many different out there, which you can go and check out. And to go and install them, you just need to follow the exact same steps as we did in this video. Once again, a big thank you to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a server, then go and check them out. We've linked them in the description and in the comments as well. So I hope you found this useful and have an awesome day, guys.